Yo guys, what's going on? It's Fizz here and welcome to my first tutorial in about three years. So today we're going to show, I'm going to show you guys how to stream your PS4 or any game on the PS4 to Twitch.tv or YouTube or wherever you may be streaming to without a capture card with your custom overlay. So it's a pretty cool little thing. Uh, it's absolutely free, nothing needed. You, as I said, don't need a capture card. All you need is two programs, OBS or your favorite streaming software, whether it be OBS, or XSplit, whatever. Uh, Wirecast, I think one of them is called, I don't know, and another program called PS4 Remote Play, which is free, it comes from PlayStation themselves, and as you can see, I'll auto sign right now, and I am playing on my PS4, with a little bit of latency, it's uh, no input lag on the, onto your monitor, it's just I'm playing while watching OBS, so it's a little bit of latency here for me, it's about a half a millisecond, and I still manage to get the kill. Which is the main thing. So as you can see, here I'm on the PS4 playing, and I, uh, it works. It works. The quality is great. You can get to 1080p and I think 60 frames. I'm not 100% what the frame rate is. It's just high and, and standard. Uh, you set the full setting. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, guys. So I'm on my PS4 dashboard now. You're going to need two PSN accounts. Now, one doesn't need to have. PlayStation Plus, but one of them does. So the one you're going to be playing online is your PlayStation Plus. Or if you don't want to play online, you don't need to have PlayStation Plus either, but you do need two accounts or you do need two controllers. Well, either way, you're going to need two accounts. Uh, so my method, I'm only using one controller and two accounts. This is the easiest way for me to do it. It's the way I like. It's no latency, no input lag, as some people who use one controller will get input lag by, I think, uh, it's about a second, I think, or half a second. I'm not sure. But this way, there's no input lag, you play freely, it's perfect like you're playing without recording at all. So, what you have to do is go to your settings and find yourself remote play connection settings. What you want to do is go add device, and because I'm actually using remote play at the moment, I can't do it, but you'll add device and I'll come up for code, you'll have 300 seconds to input the code. What we're going to do now is we're going to switch over to our remote play on our PC and I'll show you guys how to set up from there. Okay, so when you open up PS4 Remote Play for the first time, you're going to get a screen like this. What you want to do is go to settings and sign in with your PlayStation Network. Now, I've already signed in with mine, you see mine's Fizz, that's my second account, it has no PlayStation Plus, I don't want PlayStation Plus on it, it's just purely for a second account. Then you go to mess with your settings. Default should be high 720, frame rate standard. You want to change, if you have enough bandwidth and you have a newer PS4, you want to change the frame rate to high and to best 1080. Now, 1080 you can only use if you have a CUH 7000 series PS4 or later. Uh, things that I have one, I will go 1080, frame rate high. Now, you're going to need a fair bit of bandwidth for this because it does stream it from your PS4 to your screen on your, uh, your PC. So, um... I recommend anything over 20 download and I think 5 upload should probably cover I run 80 download and 15 up and it covers it fairly uh, fairly solid. There's no latency. I can stream both the PS4 to the PC and the PC to Twitch fairly easy. So once you've got that all done, what you want to do is go to uh, start. Now register manually. And the, PS, the uh, code you have on the PS4 is the code you want to put in here. So once you put your code in, you hit register. And what it's going to do is, when I hit start here, it's going to show the PS4 screen. It may take a second. So we'll speed this up and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so that's just loaded there. As you can see, now we have the PS4 screen here. Obviously, it's, something's gone wrong here. So let me just fix that real quick. Make sure nothing's out of order. There we go. Shrink that down back into place and there we go so there's your PS4 screen now the next step is once you've connected your controller will disconnect what you have to do is press your controller on turn it on and then change your account like that and it's that simple once you've done that press the PS button one more time you go to your dashboard and there's no latency I can go to Call of Duty and play directly through OBS if I wanted to it's a bit different, I prefer using my monitor, but there's no latency. 
Uh, so if you don't use a second account, what you're going to encounter is a lot of latency when you try and play. When you try and move, it will be delayed. Uh, and the only way to fix that is by using two accounts, two controllers, or two accounts on one controller. The way I just showed you guys, which is probably the easiest way, so you don't have to worry about having two controllers. Um, if you want to use two controllers, you have one connected to your PS4 and one connected to your PC. Uh, the one connected to your PC will sign in on your second account. The one connected to PS4 signs in on your main account. That solves the latency issue that way as well. I'm, I've only got one controller with me, so all it's going to take. But that's that. That's how you get, uh, set it up. And now we'll show you some OBS scenes. Okay, so here in the OBS, I've got a really simple scene set up right now. What I've got is I've got the PS4 Remote Play window capture right here, so I turn that off, it goes away. So PS4, as you can see, I'll go into the thing, PS4 Remote Play. And what I've also got is an event, so someone follows or donation, uh, donate, donations? Someone follows or donates or uh, hosts my channel, their name will pop up here. Now you can add any kind of overlay, same as with any stream, you just go click add, image, and I think I've got an image of something on my desktop. I'm not sure. Let me just find out real quick. Uh, here we go. This is all I've got. <laughs> it's a Ford Ranger. But you can add an overlay. So like that. And there you go. You have another overlay. So let's pretend that's my name up the top there being all fancy. In reality, it's a Ford Ranger Raptor. But it's, it's that simple, guys. Once you've done that, you just import your favorite overlays or effects or event tabs like this you can add the chat to it like you would in any other stream that is how you stream to twitch.tv or youtube or hitbox or whatever you're streaming to from your ps4 with no capture card it's simple it's free it does require a bit of a beefy computer and some decent internet but if you're streaming the chances are you have both of those anyway so anyone who is streaming can do this if your capture card breaks this is a great alternative to get a new one i've got a capture card now i was doing this on my uh my old laptop and then i upgraded and built my own computer naturally i got a capture card for it so i don't need this method but it's good to have there if something goes wrong it works it's flawless the quality is great i'm going to show you guys a quality test here in a second and uh yeah that's pretty much it if you uh if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. I'll be sure to try and help you out. But this is a, it's a pretty simple thing. You can stream to Twitch.tv without using the integrated streaming app on, on the PlayStation. You can add overlays. Uh, you can add your chat seamlessly. It, it's great. It's uh, pretty simple to do. There's not much more I can add. So I'll show you guys a quality test now and uh, you can judge it for yourself.
Okay guys, so there you have it. That's how you stream to Twitch.tv or YouTube, as I've mentioned a million times in this tutorial, without a capture card. Now, I hope you enjoyed the quality test. It's a pretty shit gameplay. I know I've got no thumbs, but it is what it is. I just want to show you guys how easy it is to stream to Twitch with your overlays, so you can gain a bit more attention instead of streaming off your PS4. Now, you can't do this with Xbox because I, obviously you need the remote play app, which is a PS4 exclusive thing, so you can do it only on PS4. I do recommend getting a capture card. It helps a lot, but if you're you know, on a budget or your capture card breaks or something and you still want to stream, this is a really cost-effective way to do it. And when I say cost-effective, I mean it costs nothing at all, so it's great for those who are beginning, who want to buy a capture card or waiting for those to come in the mail or that breaks and they still want to stream, any of those situations, this is a great solution. Anyway guys, that pretty much covers everything I wanted to talk about. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, dislike the video, that's fine. And if you have any suggestions for other tutorials or if you had a question about this one, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Anyway guys, I'm Fizz and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.